generation island native and real estate giant Frank Connolly was stranded in the Maroya forest after her friend took her own life. A hunter found her half dead at the bottom of a ravine with a severe head wound where she had been for two days as a hero and upheld as an example of the strong, tight-knit community that the island is known for. Finally, young Faye Connolly can return to her normal life. Time to get up. Go soccer. Hey, honey. Hi. Do you have everything you need? Yeah, Mom. Get your water? Yeah, Mom. How about a snack? Mom. Yeah. Don't forget you've got your exam today at 10. And then we have the Jones ribbon cutting ceremony this afternoon. I know. Afternoon. I'll be there. Have a good day. Hey. Hi. I once heard someone say that hotel art is designed to create a feeling of safety and comfort. Calming colors and brush strokes that gently hypnotize guests into feeling at home. made a good decision, Frank. Good bones. Make a fine Anderson Resort. Put this little island of yours on the map. Everything squared away with the community? I heard there was some pushback. Don't you worry about the community. Be all right. Finally, name goes a long way here. Look, I've got to run. Go ahead and send over that paperwork. We'll get this deal done. Good job. It's not real. Y'all ready? Three, two... One. Exactly. This island is a hotel painting. weeks don't be so loud Shh. i tried to keep her quiet but she's clearly too excited to meet you <laughs> so what do you think a little birdie for my birdie thought it'd be a great way to celebrate so cute Wait, celebrate what though Oh, the hotel. Did they invest? We should have the paperwork in in a few days. This time next year, we will have an official Anderson Resort Hotel here on the island. That's going to boost tourism. That's going to be great. That's great, Dad. You. Anderson is a family resort, and they have the same values, well, as us. Dinner's ready. Come on, you guys. So, do you like her? I love her. Thank you. This is a big deal for our family. And for the island. Working with Anderson is going to be more corporate opportunities. And now that your mom's a licensed realtor, the sky's the limit for our family. <gasps> well, as if your family doesn't own half the island already. Kurt, I didn't know you were joining us. I'll uh, set another place. I invited him to celebrate. He practically is a part of the family. <laughs> I got you, bud. Oh, I heard you passed your real estate exam. You okay, Mom? Yeah. Sorry, honey. Oh, just that bird's really loud, huh? You hate her. No, not at all. If you love her, I love her. Is it Kurt? You hate Kurt because he smells like jerky? No, Pavey. He saved her life. <laughs> I could never hate Kurt, even if he does smell like jerky. <laughs> Thank you, sweetheart. That was, uh, that was a really good meal. 
Don't even start with me. What? I can tell when you're lying. You always stammer when you lie. No, it was, um... Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, you know I'd love to, but I'm taking Faye to Mariah College tomorrow. See if we can get her enrolled in some summer courses. Faye, can you hand me that pie knife, please? Some New York official off the table? We decided that it was best for Faye to not be that far away from home. Especially after everything she's gone through. <laughs> I don't know why she would want to leave the island anyway. Are you okay? Oh, I forgot to tell you. I went hunting last week and I got another deer. I hit him right in the neck, but hey, he's guys, able to get... Hey, guys. That's enough. If he's not good with the fire. Oh, oh, hey. Really? Um... Uh, it's fine. Uh, we're gonna go out to Kurt's truck. He's gonna show me his new rifle. Uh -huh. Will you please save me some pie? Thank you, sweetheart. Let him go. said it was a seizure caused by a severe panic attack. Most likely. Panic attacks are often accompanied by physical symptoms, disorientation, sweating, breathlessness, and so on. If a person tries to breathe too rapidly, it can absolutely result in a seizure. It's scary, I know, but you're okay. What's this? Mm. But it was Maddie's paper jacket. Well, I think that's very sweet, Faye. Dr. Devi, the things I saw in my head, were they real or dream about that time? There are woods, but this time it was like a beach with red sand. Red sand? There's nothing like that on the island, Bertie. Sometimes when our minds are a little fuzzy, we fill in the gaps with things that we've seen on TV, or from just from our imagination. It's normal, I promise. Thank you, Dr. Davi. What do we do if it happens again? It likely will. Her brain is trying to fit a million little pieces back together, make sense of her trauma. Trauma? That feels a bit strong. I mean, she's been fine. She's been down. You'll want to confirm the diagnosis with her, but Faye is likely dealing with some form of PTSD. PTSD, I don't think that it's not uncommon. One in three people who experience trauma develop it. There are medications and psychological therapies. Call, my friend. We will. We appreciate that. Thank you. You didn't tell me that he'd given you the name of a psychiatrist to call. We should do that. She will be fine. This will pass. Frank, if she's suffering... You weren't here, were you? No. I failed the exam. Be resting in your quarters. How's it going? It's great. You have a compass that always points south, and it's the least broken thing on this boat. Yeah, real sailors use the stars. Do you remember how to do that? I mean, it's been a while, as evidenced by all disgusting leaves and debris. Feels like every tree in our yard threw up. <laughs> Permission to come aboard? Granted. You know, you don't have to sneak off to the mailbox every morning. If Dad 
found out I applied to New York after he told me not to. Hey, let me worry about your dad. We gotta be at Mariah College by nine. You might want to get dressed. I'll start that after today. Yeah. What can I do? Mr. Conley, I wasn't expecting you. Jeff, <laughs> you know my daughter, Faye? Of course. Hi, Faye. Great picture in the paper the other day. As we discussed, I'm here to get Faye enrolled in your pre-summer college program. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Conley. I spoke to the board, but registration for high school students looking to register for pre-college courses is closed. How about we talk in your office? Conley Family Real Estate? Yes, Mr. Anderson. I can absolutely let him know. Wait, what? Sorry, I... One second. Hello? Hello? Hi, can I help you? Frank Conley, please. Uh, he's not in right now. I'm his wife. Is there something I can... Is Frank expecting you? I should go. No, hold on one sec. I'm sorry, Mr. Conley. If it were up to me, I'd let her in, but the rules are set by the board, and it, the board... Jeff, I don't care who they're set by. You know what my daughter's been through. So how about you get him on the phone and tell him that Frank Conley wants to talk? It's, it's fine. I, I don't want to go here anyway. You should be close to home right now. Your great-grandfather donated the money to this institution so we could even exist. We built this island. I'm pretty sure he can find one open spot for you. Mom, it's me again. Pick me up, please. I'm supposed to be drawing something outside. Is that a question? Well, it wasn't supposed to be. Hang on. Hi, I'm Allie, and I'm supposed to be drawing something outside for my class. I tried drawing some ducks, but they wouldn't stay still, and it was driving me ducking mad. Um, anyway, I saw you look pretty settled on that bench, so I thought maybe I could draw you. I'm Faye, by the way. Faye? Oh my gosh, I recognize you. You're Faye Connolly. I remember seeing you on the news when I first moved here. Your friend, Maddie. Right. Sorry. I, I didn't mean to. Look, I know we just met and that it was a while ago, but I also know that pain like that doesn't just always go away. So if you ever need someone, Thanks. Oh, this is dumb. I don't even know what I'm looking for. stupid island. I even applied to go to college there. Wait, you mean you don't want to go to Mariah Community College? Shop. Totally thought you rated it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I don't know. I mean, Seattle's great, but 
sometimes it's nice to leave everything behind and start new, you know? Are you okay? Babe. 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 I can't hear you, Maddie. I can't hear you. Okay, there you are. There you are, baby. Faye, honey, you're okay. You're okay. Hey, honey, I'm coming. Baby, Daddy's here. You're okay. Where were you? I was in with the dean, ensuring her enrollment in this college. What are you doing here? It's okay. It's okay. I'm right here. The doctor says my mind is trying to fill in the... Ten yards away, securing our daughter's future. What if I hadn't been there? I need to trust the two are going to put our daughter and our family first. What if they are? Damn it! Grace! What is wrong with you? Are you okay? You will not question my loyalty to this family. I am not the one that left. I am not the one that cheated. Are you sure about that? Excuse me. Nothing. Never mind. Are you accusing me? No. You... You're right. I'm sorry. You do a lot for this family. I am grateful that you gave us a second chance. I'm grateful for everything that you do for our family. It doesn't feel like it. You're breaking my heart, Beth. Father invited me over for dinner. I tried knocking, but they didn't answer. Oh, they're fighting. Oh, <laughs> what about? Oh, I'm sorry. It is none of my business. I'm sure it'll be okay, though. They're like perfect. Do you want me to let you in the front? How about I take you out to dinner instead? You know, just the two of us? We could just let them fight it out. You did put it up. Oh, of course. I, I mean, hanging out, just the two of us. Please, can, can we go get some food? Something quick. Sure. Let me just go get changed. Okay. Anderson, Frank Conley here. Um... Sorry, I missed you again. Call me when you get a chance. Do you know what Anderson wanted? Huh? No. He just said to call. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. Everything's fine. That bird's cage, Faye! Faye! Do you know where Faye is? No, she's not in her room. No, she's not. Okay, have you tried to call her? Her cell phone is in her room. Frank, she wouldn't leave her phone. I know. I'm going to go look for her. So... Red sand? Mm-hmm. Where'd that come from? I saw a beach with red sand when I had that panic attack. It's dumb. I know. I've never seen anywhere that has red sand. Did you want some wine? I don't think the waiters will know you're not 21. Oh, no. My dad would kill me. Right. Your dad is a really impressive man, by the way. He knows. I mean, your whole family, really. I think it's really special what they have. Oh, you're... 
Um, you're serious, Kurt? Well, I really like you, Faye. I was hoping I could talk to your dad about maybe asking you out on a real date. Hey. Hey, are you okay? Um. Are you okay? Yeah. I mean, um, I'm just, uh, I'm gonna go to the bathroom, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Faye. It's not your fault. I just need some sleep and I'll be fine. Do you think maybe you feel the same way about me? Kurt, please, I just, I need to okay, look, sleep. We, don't, we don't have to talk about it now. It's, it's just, what do you? Please, I really need to I know. Don't. I don't. I think you're a good guy, and I'm grateful for what you did for me. But I don't feel that way about you. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Inside, go. Mom, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be Open out that the door way. now. Beth, it's okay. Beth, she's not feeling good. Why was the door locked? It locks automatically when it's in gear. I need you to leave right now. Why? What did I do? I'm trying the best I can. going on here, Kurt? We were having a conversation. I took her out to dinner. Your daughter is crying. Kurt and I are going to have a little talk. Faye? Faye? Don't! She's upset. I'm the one looking after your daughter. Get your truck and go home. We'll talk later. It won't happen again. Frank, I don't trust you. It was a big misunderstanding. They went to dinner. Faye got sick. He didn't know that the truck was locked. He assured me it will not happen again. Oh, you have way too much energy for this time of morning. Oh, you came. Of course I did. Although I'm not really sure what we're doing here, though. This place doesn't even open for like another hour. 
You know about Maddie, right? How she died. I know what I saw on the news. She killed herself, yeah? And that's the thing. I don't think she did. What do you mean? Okay, this is going to sound crazy, but I keep having these panic attacks, and in them, I see Maddie on a red sand beach. But the thing is, Maddie and I never went to a red sand beach, and everyone says that I'm making it up, but I think it's here, somewhere on Mariah, and I think Maddie wants me to go there. Then we'll show the beach. You think I'm insane? Kinda. But I'm still in. Just don't get me busted. Don't worry, it's like my dad always says. We built this island, so there is no way we're gonna get in trouble. I think this little criminal belongs to you. Look to your Frank, go easy on her. She's been through a lot. Joe, I appreciate it. What were you thinking, Faye? You know, you're lucky that they're not pressing charges. I'm sorry, I just you need to find the beach. I don't even want to hear it. Faye, we have a legacy, a reputation on this island. Do you understand that? Allie, is this the girl that you were with? The girl from the college? Tell her you can't see her anymore. What? Dad, no, she, she is didn't a do bad influence wrong. on you. Tell her. Breaking in was my idea, not hers. I'm not do gonna it tell her. Now, I am not arguing with you, young lady, on my cell phone. You will not see her again, period. You know, the boat usually works better in water. Did Dad tell you? Yeah. Maybe not your smartest move. You gonna sit up there forever? Just until my acceptance letter from New York comes. You wanna go shopping? It's likely gonna take up the entire boat. <laughs> Well, what about that one? I think that is for a boat with a mast, which we don't have. Oh. <laughs> Hang on, honey. Wait here. Be right back. Hey. Hey, you. Stop. Hey, you. Hey! Hey! Get your hand off me. Who are you? You're not from around here, are you? Aren't I? I'm sure there are plenty of people... Frank. Oh, well, that was a quick assumption. Um, maybe the perfect island couple isn't as perfect as they seem. Oh, maybe they have secrets. <laughs> Relax, darling. Your little husband couldn't handle me. And besides, you're the cheater. Right? Why did you come into our office? Frank owes me. I intend to collect. What do you mean, Frank owes you? Shh, honey. I'm not here. Tell your husband to do the right thing. And you'll never see me again. Here. If it were me, I never would have come back. Hey, I always plan to come back. To get you. What do you mean? I... I wasn't in a good place. I thought leaving the island would solve it. I thought that I could build a better life for us and bring you with me. And the guy? The guy... That was just a match in a room full of gasoline building up for a long time. What happened? <sighs> the thing is, running didn't change anything. Because the island was... Do you know? I know I'm your mom. And I know I'm so sorry that it took what happened to you to make me realize that. I'm sorry that I didn't get to know Maddie 
She sounds pretty great. What is it, love? It's okay. The reason I broke into the historic society was to find the beach. The beach? With the red sand. It's real, Mom. I know it. And Maddie is trying to tell me something. Saying it, honey. I am. What if she didn't kill herself? What if something... I'm so sorry, baby. Maddie took her own life, and it's a really hard thing to understand. Then why would I see the red sand? Why would that be in my head? I have to try. Mom, Maddie would do it for me. So let's do it. Let's go find it. Okay? You okay? We've been walking forever. We're at the end of the island, Faye. Do you recognize it? No. She is. We, we found the beach. Hey, okay, look at me. We found the beach. You're okay. That told us what happened. Right now, I need you to focus on me for a second, okay? Listen, you had another panic attack. You took a good knock on the head, but you're okay. Let's talk to the sheriff. Okay. Mom. Please. Babe. No. Babe, we need to me rest, babe. What happened to Maddie? And to me. Look, we've got the fair coming up, and I need Faye to be there with the family. What? Is there anything that you can prescribe, I don't know, to fix this? What's wrong with you? Excuse me? Your little girl is suffering, Frank. She needs professional help. Have you called that psychiatrist? She is trapped in the most terrifying moment of her life. Her mind is forcing her to relive it over and over. And not just the memories, which are so broken, she can't tell what's real and what's not. But the fear, the pain, all of it. She's a Conley. She's strong. She's a kid, Frank. And she's scared. So stop trying to hide the problem and fix it. What are you doing in the woods? They wanted to look for the beach. So now you're enabling this paranoia? What are you doing this? There was a man's footprint there, Frank. Somebody else knows about that beach. Do you hear yourself? Oh no, footprint. That means absolutely nothing. You sound just as crazy as she does. We have got to let go of what happened and move forward. Our daughter's not going to heal otherwise. I am begging you, please work with me on this. No, I don't have time for this. I've got to go into the office. Frank. I don't... <sighs> hey. What are you doing here? I found the red sand. 
So you found some beach that you saw while you were having a panic attack. I don't understand what you want me to do, Faye. Go there. Investigate. I don't know. It has to mean something. Maddie was found in the woods, Faye. Not on the beach. She had the gun in her hand. She was my baby girl. And I don't want to think that she killed herself either. I know it sounds crazy, but I really think something else happened. You said that there was nothing there. Not a sign of anyone. What do you want me to do? What is that? Button. From Maddie's jacket. From that day. Maddie's jacket wasn't missing a button. find it in the woods near her body i think so my memory isn't good give me the button faith tell me where the beach is hey okay i'll never believe it i had a chat with the fair commission today, and they asked me if they could dunk me in one of those tanks. Can you imagine? What are you doing? It had to be you. What? Our city. Thinking that maybe it's that gone. would. I threw it out when you left. There was a woman who came into the office the other day. I saw her again yesterday when I was in town with Faye. Where is Faye? In her room. She said that you owe her, Frank. I owe her? Who is this woman? What do I owe her? She's probably some client. She's not a client. You left your computer open at the office, and when I went to close it, I saw that there was an outgoing transaction of $10,000. Beth, I never leave my computer open. Even if I did, it locks automatically. Admit it. No, Frank, I didn't. So what, you're accusing me of having an affair with a woman and then paying her off? No. When would I have time to do this? Think about that. Logically. I spend all of my time fighting, working for you and for Faye, and you want to accuse me? I just didn't know who she was. I don't know! Probably some crazy lady. I need you to remember it was you that cheated on me, not the other way around. I am not the villain here. How could you accuse me? I do everything for you and for Faye, for this family. Kurt. Hello, sir. How you doing today? Doing well. How about yourself? Okay. Yeah. Sorry about the delivery. Beth didn't have time to cook. Oh, well, it's not a problem at all. I mean, who doesn't like pizza? Beth, I'm... Bertie, where are you going? I want to eat in my room. No. Eat at the table, like a family. How are you feeling, baby? You look better. Put the bird back in its cage, Faye. You just told me to sit down. Faye, do not push me. It has been a long day for all of us. Put the bird back. Why is Kurt here every day? Faye, I am not going to put the bird back. Now. Make you some pizza later. You scared me. I just head to the bathroom. She's so cute. So I tell you I like you, and then you don't want me coming around anymore. That's it's not what I meant. Are you sure? Because it sounded like that's what you meant. It's not. You didn't tell your mom that I liked you, did you? Well, that's good. You're going to like me back. 
I promise. Hey, Faye, you come down for a sec? Please, have a seat. What? Girls, we're a family. We have to remember that. We have to have each other's back, no matter what. No matter what we've done, no matter what we're going through. We're a team. And I know that there's been a lot of tension lately. But that ends right now. Okay, so... I want my phone back. I knew that was coming. I trust you. And I don't want to see Kurt anymore. He gives me the creeps. What are you talking about? He saved your life. I don't care. Well, your mother and I care. Right, Beth? You know, maybe every night is a bit much. And that's fair. I'll have a talk with him. Is there anything else? We're Conleys. And I love my girls. And we love you. Many of our spaces were donated by community members, including our study hall, which I'll show you now. I'm going to the bathroom. I've heard that ducks are notoriously bad models. Hey, you're okay. I was worried when I didn't hear from you. I'm sorry, my dad took my phone. Did you get in trouble? Nah, just a warning. It's all good, though. So, what are you doing here? Surprised you could tear yourself away. Mm. They're going to study hall next, so... I'm really missing out on a lot. <laughs> I'm thinking of getting some ice cream. Do you want to join? <laughs> when I'm telling you, that guy, he tried to jump the bridge on a bike or something. <laughs> this island, it drives people insane. That can't be true, though. Why do you do it? I don't know. My grandpa used to tell me that story. But it is crazy that the only way on or off the island closes at like 10 p.m. It's like we're prisoners or something. Mm, I like it. Here you go. Oh, wow, thanks. Uh, no, no. Your money's no good here. Just tell your dad I said hello. Was it really that bad in Seattle? My stepdad back at home? the best guy. Did he hurt you? Yeah. Me and my mom. Just got to a really bad place. I just remember... I guess knowing that the island closes at 10 is what makes me feel safe. I don't know, maybe that's... Maybe that's dumb. That's not dumb at all. So, what about you? Find anything out about the Red Sands? Actually, we found the beach. You found it? Yeah. My mom thinks it's nothing. I even told the sheriff, and he's like, it's probably nothing. So, I don't know. Maybe I am crazy. No, Faye. What are you talking about? The thing that was in your head actually exists. I'll be right back. Why aren't you on the tour? I'm hanging out with my friends. And the school's one building, so I'll find my way around. Get in the car, Faye. Dad, come on. Faye, get in the car now. Please.
What am I doing wrong, Beth, huh? What happened? That girl is no good for her. We can't go through this again. We can't. Hank, listen. I just want to lose her. I just need her to make the right decisions. She acts like I don't see her going to the mailbox every day. I know about New York fame. I know. Hey, look at me. I'm right here. Beth, it is a bad, terrible world out there. It's safe here on the island. We built this village. My father, his father before him. Every generation has left their mark, and it's all for her, and she acts like she doesn't want it. She keeps pushing it away. She keeps pushing me away. Beth, we cannot protect her forever. But I can. I may have lost you, but I'm not going to lose my little girl. You didn't lose me. I am right here. Go talk to her. She doesn't listen to me anymore. Connect with her. She is still your daughter. And she loves you. I hate this village. I hate this island. I hate everything. I can't do this anymore. I can't stay here. This place is an I hate it. I hate everyone who tells me it'll be okay. I hate my stupid, broken brain. I hate Maddie for leaving me. Why can't I just remember? Why can't? Please leave. You know, things seem so much simpler when you were a kid. You used to want to hang out with your family. that you feel alone, but you're not. I'm here for you, like I always have been. I always have your best interest at heart. Do you, Dad? Or do you have your own reputation at heart? This island, the family, this perfect image, isn't that what really matters? I heard you ask Dr. Debbie for drugs to make me better. I just want you to be happy. I'm not, though, Dad. You don't... I'll make you a deal. Give us, your mom and I, the rest of the day. Let go of all that bad stuff. All those bad feelings, all the anxieties. If you can do that, I'll go with you to the beach. The one with the red sand. And we'll figure this out. Together. The bowling alley. You used to love this place. We'd come here every Sunday when you were a kid, remember? Coming here or loving it? We're in lane 12. Isn't this great? Just like you remember it, huh? Frank, maybe we should wait a bit before we throw her right back into bowling. She's fine, okay? Hey, you're okay. Just give me one game. One game. She used to be your favorite. Go ahead, try it. Frank, honey. She's fine. Hey, look at me. Ignore everything around you, okay? Breathe. Look at me. You're safe. Okay. All right. It's okay. Show me what you got, Birdie. Yes! <laughs> that was 
so good. Poor Larry. Good job. I got a long time to pop below. So, I just convinced this place to cater the summer fair for less than cost. How good am I? Huh? Is that why we came here? Birdie, come on, don't be like that. You had fun today, yeah? Yeah? Well, good, because we're going to be out and about a lot more. Because your old man has decided that he's going to run for mayor of the island. What? what are you talking about? I mean, it's great news, right? First off, it's a, a lot of extra money that we could use. And plus the Conley name, it's already so influential here on the island. I think this could be great for all of us. A conversation? Why can't you just support me? I'm suggesting that we have this conversation. This is for us. That's a no-brainer. Okay? I'm not going to have this conversation with you here. End of discussion. Go ahead, eat up. Frank, what's he doing here? I don't know. What are you doing here, Kurt? Just coming over for dinner. But you guys went home. Not having dinners every night for a little while. Why? We just need some family time. But you said I was family. And you are. But you also know what I mean with everything that Faye's been uh, going through. You owe me, Frank. Go home, Kurt. No. You said you and Maddie were just friends. Are you saying you guys are partners? Yeah, we've been dating about a year. Even though my dad hated it. Anyway, we were stressed. Um, it was just like small island stuff and whatever. And we came to these woods to reconnect. And we ended up getting in a huge fight about everything. My family our future. She wanted me to leave with her. No plan, no place to live. And I, I told her I, I couldn't do that. And she, she just walked away. I heard the gunshot. And by the time I found her, I was too late. Would ever hurt herself? And I was lost and scared and you know, like I fell and I hit my head and I was, I was down there for two days and um, this guy, Kurt, he found me and he was hunting and he saved me. He saved my life. Yeah, I remember him from the news too. I just, I don't know how the beach fits into all of it. Figure it out. Together. Okay. So where is this beach? It's over there. to just make it up. Maybe it's in my stupid broken brain. You know, the red sand's actually kind of cool. 
I've never seen red sand before. I wonder what makes it red. That's it. Sands. Okay, so red sand comes from iron-rich minerals. So there must be iron mines on the island, right? Right. So we can find... Oh my God, it's going to work soon. So I, I... Don't worry about it. Just send it to me. I'll do some digging and I'll text you later, yeah? It sucks being in a cage. Well, it's not so great out here either. Lonely, I guess. Maddie loved me. I really miss her. We were supposed to go to college in New York together and escape this dumb island. But now she's gone and I'm still stuck here. You don't have anybody, though. Do you think if I open this cage, you'd be happy? Or have you been stuck in there so long, you wouldn't know how to survive without it? Headlights. Okay, I'm gonna look. You go back inside. Okay, I'm gonna go to bed. Okay. Frank! What are you doing, Beth? What is she doing here? I'm. Go inside now. We are done. Leave. Let's talk about this tomorrow. We'll talk about this right now. Beth, why are you embarrassing yourself? What are you even upset about, huh? You still think that I'm cheating on you? What if I was? Would it even matter? It's not like you care about me. When Beth left the family, I, I wasn't thinking clearly. And I made some less than optimal financial decisions. I took out a loan to cover our family. And then the Anderson deal didn't go through. And that wasn't my fault. There was a restructuring of their focus or a change in management regardless. I was counting on that deal to pay back this loan. The woman that you saw last night, she's a... Bertie, I... You lied to us. No, Bertie, I didn't lie. Yeah, you I... lied to us. You, you got mad at me because I made a friend that you didn't think was good enough? And you... You owe money to the mob. Were you ever going to take me to the beach, Dad? Uh, or was that just another lie? Of course not. Bertie, hey, Faye. Faye.
Just so you know, it's all paid off. So you won't be seeing her again. I, I promise. Is there anything that you want to say? seen her um she's a freshman art student no okay thanks What are you doing here? What are you doing here? How do you know about this place? Hey, you need Don't to listen. Don't touch me. You need to listen to me. It's okay. No! No! Hey, you were there. No. You were there. Hey. No! 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 What you did for Faye? She's asleep. Someone attacked Allie, told her to stay away from Faye. Did Kurt do this to you? Wait, well, hold on. She, she doesn't even know Kurt. She can't say for sure if it was him or not. But you think it was the same person who attacked Faye? I, uh, I, I think so. But I'm calling the sheriff. Hold on. Let's think about this, Beth. I'll talk to Kurt. Frank. No, Beth, let me talk to him. Okay, he will tell me the truth. If he did this, then we'll go to the sheriff. Beth, we've got to give him the benefit of the day. I'll stop back, Kurt's on my way back. You stay with Faye, okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Okay, yeah. Oh, of course I will. I don't know. Not that he's told me. Sure. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Debbie. Yeah, you too. Faye? Maybe you're just having a dream.
I promise everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> Maybe I just need to move my arm for a second. Okay, okay. Frank, I need you to call me back. I just looked up Kurt online, and the woman, the woman who you repaid your loan to, it's his mom. Frank, it's his mom. He is... change your mind. I can convince you that it was a dream. Just like I did at the beach. You said he told you to kill her. Do you mean Maddie? Who told you to kill Maddie, Kurt? Come on, Beth. It was Frank. Frank said it'd be okay. Stop talking. Frank. Put the gun down, Kurt. Frank, what did you do? This is my... Nothing. Okay. He, he's crazy. He's probably on drugs or something. And he doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm sorry, Frank. I know you told me not to tell anyone, but Shut I... Shut up, Kurt. Frank, did you kill Maddie? No. Of course I didn't. I just... I just told him to scare her. To scare her. To threaten her so that she would break up with Faith. But that's it. I promise. That's all that I did. It is, Mom. I tried not to tell her. It was too hard, man. Stop talking, Kurt. Give us more money. Or I'll she tell everyone what he did. Beth, he is lying. <laughs> Every word he's saying is a lie. This is not a hotel deal. That was to pay off Kurt's mom. Not some loan shark. She was blackmailing you. I don't know what you were talking about, Beth. I'm sorry I brought you into this thing. I didn't mean to fall in love with you. Things just happen out there. What did you say? What happened, Kurt? <laughs> No. Peach Kurt. Huh? 
on the beach. Huh? You said you fell in love? What did you do, Kurt? What did you do to my daughter? I'm sorry. I couldn't help you. Get your life jacket. What? Don't forget we got that new compass. You're gonna use it. Mom, you have to come. You have to come. I, I can't, baby. No, I don't know what I'm doing. I know you'll be okay. You'll be okay. No, I am so proud of you. I'm so proud of the person that you are. And listen to me. You love whoever it is you want to love. And know that your mom always supports you. Always. Mom, you have to please come. I will, honey. I will, but first, I need to make sure that your dad can never hurt anybody again. I need to find proof of what he did. It's the only way to make sure that you'll be safe. I am so sorry that I wasn't there for you before. I'm so sorry I left you, but it's all gonna be okay now. <laughs> I gave you chance after chance. I just wanted us to be a family. Frank, let go. You're hurting me. Everything no. I did was for us, for our future. Frank, would you be here? Oh. I'm about to show you fear. No. no. You betrayed me. I gave you chance after chance, and this is how you repay me. I was not going to let that girl run my family like you did. I have a reputation on this island, and I will not let you or anyone else ruin it. Why? Bernie. Sorry. I am so I just love you so much. And I couldn't let that girl. I couldn't let her ruin your future. You're a Conley. A Conley. And that means something. Well, then I don't want to be a Conley anymore! <laughs> <laughs> like that. Drop the stick, Frank. No. Thank goodness. Look, they attacked me. I said, what I know is that the button that Faye found belongs to a dead man's jacket in your house. I bet those boots match the footprints of Beth's text. Only when I went to the beach, they weren't there anymore. What'd you do, Frank? You went back to the beach? Get rid of the evidence? No, Joe. You took my daughter from me. Get on your knees. Get down on your knees! Joe. It wasn't me. I... She was my baby girl. Oh! Oh. 
You're going away. I am a powerful man on this island, Joe. You hear me? You are making a huge mistake. Consider yourself lucky for the safety of prison. Ah. You two okay? How do you know? Got a call from Molly Creek. She was concerned when Frank gave her a ride home. Went to your place. Found Kurt. I traced Frank's phone. Left me here. Thank you, Joe. You sure you're okay? We will be. I'm just gonna need a trip to New York. <laughs> Oh. Oh.